Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Rock God Tycoon with our little gentleman's agreement. And we are we're going pretty well. Just had Lucid Reflections release. We are having some decent-ish sales. But then again, you could argue that it's not really worth it considering how much effort was spent in producing all these songs. Look at their quality. They're almost 30% songs. It's amazing. And our rehearsal rating. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, band rehearsal. Wow. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it's terrible. No one was able to play the songs for the uh, recordings. But, yeah, it's not worth it, rehearsing. In this game, which is complete bullshit, bullshit. But uh, yeah, you, you can't rehearse it yourself, I guess. Uh, anyway, um, today we are about to put this little, not the best, the second album, the second EP, uh, into production, or the third EP. Yeah, it's the third EP. Uh, make use of our trash songs that we have produced merely for getting better uh, stat-wise in songwriting and in instrumental playing. And I think we are going to produce a few more of these things. Uh, at least they have the advantage of us being slightly more rehearsed after uh, playing them. Uh, after writing them all together, I mean. So that's a, that's a bonus. Um, but yeah, I hope our LP and our new EP will uh, get us some more money so that we can upgrade our stage equipment and maybe our instruments too. I mean, Rob Rock here has a fancy flying Wii already, but uh, we're still on crappy microphones, a crappy bass and a super crappy drum set. Uh, yeah, there's room for improvement here. Looking at the contract, the No Hope Records contract, where we just have to have three songs. Uh, they are done. We have already recorded a video. And now we have to perform two gigs at the Rosemary and Time Bar right next door. So let's book that in. We could go and... Oh, wait a second. What did the contract say? Uh, we have to finish it on the 25th. Wow, we're early. Okay. So 25th. Uh, that means we can just space it out a bit. How about we go play on Sunday? And then just to be done with it, I think we play another gig on Tuesday. That should be fine. Not the same songs, but rather we could play from our album. Uh, Illumination is still going strong. And then our favorite songs. How about we play all of these? And it doesn't really matter where we are. We don't have any tension right now, so we can just travel there and get some more fans in the meantime. Also. While I appreciate you guys practicing musicality, maybe we want for them to level up. They're pretty high already. So yeah, let's level up here for you three. And you can go sing, you can go busk, and then we write some songs. Bismarck has opened up. Let's check it out. Where would that be? Uh, here somewhere? No? No? There! Oh! Okay, that's a new studio. A new film studio. Uh, too bad that uh, the, the video clip doesn't seem to matter. Or at least it doesn't tell you that it matters. Maybe it promotes the album sales? There's no indication for that to be the case. Oh, oh uh, let's book in something. Grade D. Okay, studio quality 20%. And that's not too impressive. All right, everyone is done. Everyone is done with getting a new point in musicality. So uh, now grab some burgers and then we write a song. Oh, uh, is that fine? Yeah, we have enough time to write a song. It is quite nice that we have a good band solidity by now, which means that we don't gain tension quite as fast. So now, write a new few songs. Uh, where, where were we? 19? Was it 19? Not the best 21! Oh fuck, okay. So not the best 22. There we have it. Whoa, 150 experience in playing. He had to so, put down some serious shredding there. And we can busk a little more before the gig. 
Yeah, it should be fine. And um, yeah, I think we we just stay here in town a little little while longer. You may be interested in investing 10k into your band. Uh, no, because this is bullshit. This is definitely bullshit. Nigerian prince style bullshit. Okay, up. Time's up. We need to go to the gig. How well is our stage? Oh. Oh, money cut, 182. Is that maximum? Is that actually the maximum you could get? Was it sold out? Oh, we're doing pretty well here. Oh, still getting threes and fours, but... Not the best 23. I think we can cram that one in, just barely. Yes, we did. Okay. So, a uh, gig coming up. Are you guys prepared? No? Good? As always. Quite a show! 37th show rating overall. Show spectacle. Three, oh, three and a half stars. Uh, two and a half stars, sorry. Yes. Uh, one four, fan gain 11. Oh, we're even making a little bit of cash there. But this town now has, like, most of our fan base. <laughs> or oh, does it, does it? Let's check the map. Uh, we have 980 fans. Oh, here we have 2,000. And we probably should be going to Dover or Charleston and just busk there and and do stuff, play there uh, to get a few more fans in the bigger places so that we can play big shows. Considering that we're done, and this, oh, this only has a burger place and the pub. All right, let's book in a few gigs here. Uh, how about... Saturday, we play, oh, how good are these? Doesn't tell, uh, shit is the answer, that's the correct answer, yeah, utter garbage, and we can play this set of songs, and we put up some flyers, 220 capacity, maximum profit 484, minimum band rating 26, and we have a band rating of 47, I believe now? So, uh, quite a bit overqualified, which is cool. So we book this one in, and then we can play a few new songs the Saturday thereafter, while we're writing more songs. But now, we need to do the only responsible thing, and that is to travel here, drink all the beers. How much do we need? 40... Oh shit. We need 45 decrees. Okay, we drink all the beers, three hours of drinking, and then instantly... We continue on to travel here. What we could do is just buy a few more cheap-ish props for our stage presence. There's still a lot more room for improvement there. And we can buy a few more cheap things. Although I, I'm more the person who would buy good stuff early on, but little of it. So that you don't have to um, switch it out later. But you pay a lot extra for that, so... Not going to do this now. Seems, seems inefficient. Uh, oh no, it is very efficient to do so. Overall, net, but you're not escalating the curve quite fast enough. Uh, let's see. What more do we want? Cheap speaker cabinet. How many more can we have? I think we have three, don't we? Let's check our stage presence first. Okay, I see one speaker, two speaker. Is there a speaker there? Yes. Okay, so we have four speakers already. Well, that explains why we have a pretty decent stage of vigor. And there is no more... There's no more slot there, is there? Oh, there, there is one more. So we can buy two more speakers. And we could buy... Uh, can you play speakers? Oh, shit. Ah, okay, but... Yeah, okay, so they want to have amps in the front and speakers in the rear. All right, all right. So we can buy four more amps and two more speakers. So two more speakers, there we go. And amplifiers. Did we have cheap amps? I think we did. Oh, 2,500. This is 7.5%. That's not something we can afford. But uh, if we go with this one, 4%. Do we, do we have the cheap ones? Ah, yeah, we can go with the cheap ones. 
Yeah, paying $150 for 1% extra, that's that's not a good deal. So we buy one, two, three, four. Yay, all the amplifiers. What are you amplifying, Rob? Um, who knows? Something. Noise. The crowd. To, to make it seem like there are more people watching us. More tortured victims of our gent. Oh, now we have all the shit. Okay. We are right at the edge of the A here. The first edge of the A. When it comes to a stage vigor. And... Oh, ho, ho. Whoa. This is going... This is going all the way up. What? Oh, this is... This is brutal. Look. We have doubled our stage vigor. <laughs> Just placing all the amps. Louder. Louder. <laughs> oh. And also... Why is he... Does, does that change anything? No, it doesn't change any stage vigor thing. So, uh, yeah, you, you stand there, mate. That's all good. Alright, gig is coming up. Uh, you, you have been accused of worshipping Satan, as many people seem to believe that playing your music backwards produces the prayers of the Antichrist. Will you deny it? N no. <laughs> Why should we? This is bullshit. You have written back to the press that you do indeed worship the Dark Lord and expect his return <laughs> to the throne very soon. Plus 18 fans. <laughs> Alright. Okay, gig is up. There we go. Simulate Fed Pig cl p p Club Pub. I mean, meant pub. Simulate. There we go. And what is our show spectacle? Okay, that didn't get much better. Mm. I'm not too convinced. 38. A bit poor. Oh, a six. We got a six. Ten fans. Oh, that wasn't wasn't the best. Uh. Okay, when do we have the next show? One week later, right? Yeah, exactly one week later. Uh, let's write a song or two or three. That should be should be good. Then we can make an another new album right after this contract has been settled. We're up to 24 now. Okay, only takes one day, 14 hours to write. Oh, we almost see a little bit of uh, more than one star there. There's a this little edge there is already yellow. Wow, these guys really know how to write songs. Hmm. Our Lucid Reflections album isn't selling anymore. That, that is a... Uh, uh, it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, I need to get some financial info about it. How much profits did we get from it? This is the first... Uh, that is the first LP. 8,294. Eight ah, okay. Ah, here you get the listing of which one gave you the most. So Lucid Reflections. Here we have... Oh, not the best is doing pretty well. It's better than their nation. Hey, over 6,000 fans in total now. And, uh, let's see. How many do we have in this city? Oh, we do have 360. Nah. Okay, we started at 100 when we arrived here. Let's hope there's a few more people coming to our gig now. And this second, uh, second one has more advertising done for it. So here we go, gig is coming up. Simulate. And... Oh, my mate's performance is so grotesquely bad. 40. Oh, that isn't too shabby. Let's see, two, three... Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> no! It's a spectacle where you have to have double earplugs because it's terrible but looks nice. <laughs> No, not again, the fliptastic man approaches you. Uh, I mean, he has now shown that he actually can do it, so no, fuck off. We are up to not the best, 28. And the star, the second one, is slowly filling up. These guys, we need to improve. 21 rating, ugh. I think they have higher songwriting skills, but their musicality is just lacking so much that they just produce shit. Yep, oh, there we go. There we go. This is uh, not the best Mark II, right? Alright, we select the songs. 
<laughs> terrible ratings as is to be expected extremely nice and published this bullshit yes it's like when you when you finally get successful uh, get any reasonable amount of success and are well known for high quality stuff and you have this massive back catalog of absolutely terrifyingly awful albums isn't that kind of kind of shameful i don't know i don't know people will know you for being awful but it's selling look at that it's selling 191 already at 13 o'clock 1340 that isn't too bad i think we need to move on though uh move on to another city wow we have written a few songs and the last one isn't even that terrible. Maybe we should play another gig in this town and then move on to uh, probably Bismarck. Because there's a film studio there. So we could do, could do that. There's no recording studio near here, is there? I'm really waiting for the next one to open up. Because that gives us better quality recordings. Okay, flyers and posters. Uh, I don't think we will fill it up, but I mean, this is a nice maximum profit if we could get it. Oh, uh, book it in. Would be good. We should con start to consider a few things here, like promotions. How expensive was this? So, oh yeah, yeah, this is how it works. Cool. So you can spend. You can spend $150 to get 90 fans locally. That's pretty cool, okay. So, this one, wow, that's expensive. This is 8 times 30, so 240. 240 fans for $2,000! No! No, 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 this is super expensive. Okay, so this is the same. Three new local fans, so that's also 90. So this combined is 180 fans. Well, you basically can do that wherever you travel, just buy these. And then when you are playing gigs there, you will have a bigger audience. Uh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And website. I don't get how that is supposed to work. Like, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, yeah, website, okay, so 23 new fans, local, like website, it's only, it only works if you're accessing it from uh, that town, right? That's, that's how the internet works. Well, yeah, I don't think this is necessarily a place we're going to play much in. Bismarck, on the other hand, will be, uh, because it has the studio there, and it's in a pretty good location for later studios. Uh, it's pretty close, and it has... A reasonably large pub as well, where you can uh, gain some some profits. Ah, Flagstaff. I, I think that one had a, a studio. Let's take a quick look. Ah, no it didn't. It has another film studio. Nah. So what's the quality of this one? A C minus. One and a half stars. 30% studio quality. That's a bit better. Better than Bismarck too. So where do we want to go? Do we want to travel to Bismarck? Or do we want to set up the base in Flagstaff down there? I think the answer to that question is given by the fact that Bismarck has the Rocker Bar, which um, is much better than the Burger Bar. On the other hand, Rebirth Studio is quite a bit better than uh, this one. The, the name of which I can't even read in 1080p. It's impossible, it's just mangled. Bad, bad UI design. Alright, but for later on, this is... Flagstaff is kind of a nice place because it's close to the big cities. Holy! Whoa! Okay. That's pretty big. Capacity 400. Maximum profit of 1,500. If we could get those those folks in there, that would be fantastic. And has the better studio. So I think we are going to live with the Sandwich Emperor instead of the Rocker Bar. Oh, book it in. Friday it is. 
We're going to play shit songs. And some advertising in the local newspaper. All the things. <laughs> yeah, let's make that happen. Uh, minimum band requirement, 37%. Okay, book it. There we go, Fat Pig Pub. How was our performance? Nice show spectacle. Uh, another little bit of money, 41 show performance. Absolute garbage apart from this one, okay. Kenneth Rush has proven themselves as a skilled drummer. I is he gender fluid or something? You gotta respect my pronouns. Holy, 23 hours of driving. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. Well, we can stay a while here and then travel back to get another record deal with, uh, well, not record deal. Um, we can make the video here, but we will have to play at the Rosemary and Time Bar in order to make this little free album EP. Alright, uh, let's seal that deal. So we need the No Hope Records. That's all good. Contact, yes. And now we can buy a few promotions too. Makes it quicker to attain fans. We buy the posters. We buy, not the billboard, the CD giveaway. That's all good. CD, now this becomes too expensive. Whoa, we're still selling massive amounts of this album. Sales today at 1400 is 257. Jeez, this is going well. Okay, uh, yeah, let's continue. Oh, yep, they want to have more business. Let's sign the deal until the 30th next month. We have time. We need to record shit and get a video clip. And of course, play the two gigs. Oh yeah, band solidity is at 87%, that's quite nice. Still don't have sponsors, don't even know what that is. <laughs> no, stalky man, come on, stop it. A music piracy website has your, your latest album, Not the Best 2, on its front page. What an endorsement. <laughs> Shitty music for everyone. Uh, piracy report? No, fuck that. It's like, if the po if pirates want to poison themselves, go, go for it. It's all good. Oh, another five band solidity. And now we have Santa Fe. We gotta, gotta check that out. Uh, do they have a studio? No, but they have, uh, even better, they do have a label. And I think that is the first label that accepts singles. Which is like the only thing that you ever need, which we really need to talk about. It's ridiculous. Another broken game mechanic. So anyway, we are in a good place here, so we can actually uh, we can actually alt tab. That that wasn't wasn't what I wanted to do. We can actually just accept a contract from these guys. Band rating of at least twelve percent. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, two or more albums. Yeah, we have that. Okay. D, yes. Contact. Let's see what you guys can offer. Because we can easily write one song. Right, that's... That's super fast. And if we let the pros do it, then it will be pretty good. Okay. Let's see how many fans we have acquired, uh, accumulated, down here in Flagstaff already. 227 in the short time we've been here. Let's play the gig. Simulate. Uh, the standard thing. Wee, money, money, money. Well, it was a good show. And that was all. Yeah, it was a good show. Ouch. So now let's write a proper song. A two star song. That sounds about right. Let's call it Vanguard. Standard metal cliche names for the win. Oh, okay. Record two songs with an overall rating of 22 or higher and both need a video clip and we need to perform in any of these two locations Flag or metal. That's exactly where we are That's excellent. Yep. 
sign that, but nope, oh, stop. We want to have everything. Yes, everything. I think we can manage this. We only have this other little contract going. It's a lot of recording shit going on though. We've got to wrap the songwriting up pretty soon and then start moving around and record the uh, the videos. Three, uh, three videos of all. And we need to record... How many songs? Uh, five. So we need another song. Let's write this instantly. And our second song will be called Armor Piercing. Yes. So so creative. Alright, how bad are they? How bad did they turn out? Um th Oh Is that is that decent enough? Yeah, it's pretty alright. 33 and 35%. Our rehearsal rating of course is absolute garbage. But also, there's no way to improve it without spending, like, years of practicing it. Uh, in the studio, which costs insane amounts of money. Oh, yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, but we do need to have a decent recording of them and a video clip. So let's book that in and another gig on top of it. And we can record all at the same time. This, this, and... Uh... Not the best 24 looks like, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we need. And we can stay here for another gig. And then we run off to the recording studio. There we go, Rebirth Studio. We're doing, doing the film clips. Cringe come, come true. Oh, oh wow. Oh, well, that, that wasn't too bad. 34, 34, 34. That's good. Ah, oh, the Planting a Tree Foundation has asked for another 500 bucks. More band solidity. Yeah. I should already book in our trip to the Firstborn Studios. This is so weird. Why is there no second recording studio open yet? Alright, Flag of Metal Club. Here we go. Uh, simulate. Oh, yep. 400 bucks. Oh, decent ratings. Now I want to check if that is already counting towards this one. We need one more. One more gig here. All right, let's place this in so that we have it done. On Wednesday, yeah. Let's play another round. Maybe now is the time to invest in a few more better instruments right before the gig so that they all can play on new instruments and fail even more. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the perfect plan. Now we edit the character instrument. Let's see. Oh, you can buy the... Oh, yeah, it needs to be black. How many points? Eight points. Eight additional points. Plus ten points. Let's go with this one. Yes, we get that. Uh, microphones. Plus seven, plus ten. Skull mic. 5.0 plus 7 overall. Yeah, I think that's fair. Another 3 points for another... Yeah, that's something we can buy later. If we're when we are swimming in money. And a new bass guitar. What do we have? Oh, this one looks good. 2,000 bucks plus 8. Alright, done! We're all equipped with some decent, decent stuff now. Simulate the gig. How does it go? Uh... Mm. Um, okay. Okay, not much money. Yeah, that didn't help. Okay. But at least now the contract stuff is done. Now we need to play at the Rosemary and Time Bar, right? Yep. Uh, two gigs. Let's book it in. Oh. Oh, shit. Is, is that enough? I, I think it is. Uh, otherwise we need to speed over there. So this contract needs to be done by the first. That's fine. Here we have already played. And we have already recorded the video clips. We just need to record the songs. And for this one, we have until the 30th. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. But the 30th is still fine. Okay. Whew. My god, this was this is close. This is really close. We can book in... Uh, do we want to book it in for there? 
Nah. It's to choose Tuesday? No, no, Tuesday is fine. Today is the 15th. Right back. Uh, 15th, then, yeah, that's it's fine. We can book in both Sundays. And we should book in our recording sessions as well. Let's start out with the crap album. That would be not the best. 22 to 24. And we put in one rehearsal for... Let's see, for the new songs. This, this. And then we record it finally on the 27th. And why not play a gig here too? Huh, we can even put in another rehearsal now that I'm here. It's good. Let's put it in there. Ah, wow. Why did it increase so much? 3%. Before we only got like an increase of uh, 1 to 2%. Now it's 3%. Maybe some stats play a role in this. But anyway, I think we are headed down a pretty good path. Still having a few sales, not much. Um, yes, so creating two more, two more albums and that should be kind of a breakout when it comes to money. And from then on, as you can probably already see, it gets a little samey with what you're doing. And the very best method of getting to the top seems to be to release very frequently new albums like every month every one and a half month you release another uh, two song like mini EP or whatever it's called and uh, that gets you tons of fans and just spools you to the top and gives you money galore and from there you just get your band to 100 score but that is something uh, we continue on towards uh, the next episode and I will start deconstructing the game mechanics even a bit more. Alright, hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time! <laughs>